Hi, my name is Dr. Rich Hilsden, and welcome to my channel, Knife Skills. On this channel, we break down medical myths from the point of view of a surgeon. And today, we're talking about earwax, specifically the somewhat controversial topic of earwax cleaning. The question I'm answering today is, should you clean your ear canals? And if so, what happens if you don't? To understand this further, let's look a little bit at the ear's anatomy. The ears are the organ in our bodies that is responsible for hearing. It's not just the floppy things we see on the outside of our head. And hearing is a critical function to all mammals. From an evolutionary point of view, it's our only 360 degree threat detection tool. Just think about the, how you feel when you hear unexpected footsteps following behind you. This organ is divided up into three parts. We have the external ear or outer ear, which is the part you see, but this also includes the ear canal. We also have the middle ear, which is separated from the external ear by the tympanic membrane or the eardrum. And finally, we have the inner ear where the cochlea resides. When people talk about the ears, they're usually talking about the outside or the outermost part of the external ear, and we call that the pinna. The pinna helps direct sound waves into the ear canal where they can eventually strike the eardrum. At this point, vibrations of the eardrum are transmitted through the middle ear by ossicles, tiny little bones in the middle ear, and finally to the cochlea where the vibrations are picked up by hair cells and sent to the brain. Because the eardrum is recessed into the skull, if the ears didn't have a way of cleaning themselves, they would quickly fill up with debris and we would all lose our hearing. That's where natural earwax comes in. This is produced by the body and has a purpose of capturing dead skin and external debris. Along with the wax, hairs in your ear help move the debris naturally from inside of the canal to the outside. And this happens all the time. In the vast majority of cases, the body does this on its own with no need for help from you. That isn't to say that wax can't build up and block the ear canal and cause problems. So if you think you're dealing with significant wax buildup, the best thing to do is see a doctor. Your doctor can look in your ears and give you the right advice. Typically, there are three methods of removing excessive wax. Number one, ear drops. Number two, ear irrigation. And number three, ear curatage. It's important to note that none of these methods include you sticking anything in your own ear, like a cotton swab or those spirally ear cleaning gadgets that a drop shipper might be trying to sell you. If you're tempted to stick something in your ears, don't. And we recommend this for two reasons. These tools can push the wax deep into the ear canal, causing it to become impacted. And when this happens, the body's natural ability to remove the earwax will fail. And two, real trauma can occur. That sensitive eardrum can be ruptured by the trauma of a cotton swamp accidentally pressing against its surface. Since we're on the topic of impacted earwax, it's important to mention earplugs. They are fantastic for protecting hearing, so I highly recommend them. However, there is a trade-off. They can push wax deep into your ear canals as well, preventing the natural cleaning mechanisms from occurring. So I do recommend that you use over-the-ear ear protection if you require exposure to loud noises frequently. One ear cleaning tool that I've seen lately are little devices that connect to your phone and have a curette and camera on them. The idea is that you can see with the camera where your little curette is going and it can reduce the risk of damage to the eardrum. Although this is better than blindly sticking something into your ear, accidents can still happen. And so in general, I don't recommend these tools. Finally though, some of you may want a practical ear cleaning tip that you can safely use. And in that case, I recommend the ear oil method for softening wax. I recommend using mineral oil or an ear wax softener you can get at your pharmacy. And the best way is to light it on your side, put a couple of drops in the affected ear and stay in that position for a few minutes. Doing this at bedtime is probably best because it'll let the oils work overnight. But just remember, if the wax doesn't clear or if you're experiencing pain or other symptoms, it's time to see your doctor. So hopefully today you learned that your ears are an amazing self cleaning machine. Most of the time you don't need to mess with them at all. But if you do have an issue, stick with professional advice and skip those cotton swabs. Your ears will thank you. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up and a subscribe to Nice Skills. And let me know in the comments if you've had any earwax adventures or found solutions that have worked for you. Remember, you're in charge of your health and it's always better to be safe than sorry. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.